hello guys in this video we will see bit more about callback functions because the example we have created this example in this example we just have created a function and this function has one asynchronous function inside and we handle the output of this asynchronous function through callback function and this is just a little implementation of callback function how really callback function works how we use them inside the function but in uh, reality a uh, lot of features of language already implemented a callback function so we can utilize the functions of that language so we will see some of such examples i have opened my browser and in this browser i have opened the documentation of uh, http it is actually a node uh, module but what i want to focus on is this thing basically uh, there is the create server method when we call this method inside this method we have some asynchronous code but to handle that asynchronous code we have created this asynchronous function this async we get request and response from this asynchronous function and we are using this property for further code so this is also an example of callback function plus on next line yes there is also one callback function this one this goes down till this okay so point is that in this callback function we returning three parameters through callback this parameter will give request this will give a uh, information about socket this will give information about head what does that mean is that the function named callback we can pass multiple parameter through this function and we get this parameter through different name there is another one example the simplest example is uh, clear timeout or set timeout function okay in set timeout function we use another function in that function we handle the code basically in that function we don't accept any parameter but this function is also a callback function in fact we have used the same set timeout function inside our example so after some time happens this function call rest of process using this callback function there is one last example i would like to show you is this one this is the add event listener method we use it when we work on client side okay so basically if you look here then you can see that in this method we call one function there so what this method really does is after we click after clicking it run one function and this function is nothing but a callback function so javascript language has already created a functions for us which utilize a facility of callback functions and this example just a small example to demonstrate how callback function really works in most of time when you use features of javascript what you will be doing you will be utilize the power of callback function to achieve your goal so i hope that you understand ten bit scope of callback functions how much we use it in javascript in fact in cross uh, mobile platform we also use javascript sometimes they also use different languages but they do also use a callback function to achieve their functionality so that's all is about the callback function in next video we will see how can we handle callback function in a better way so see you in next video